Let this ancient Chinese wisdom be your guide. With spectacular struggles come spectacular sacrifices. Stop smoking. There was once a young wanderer whose home was in a hut in the forest. One day, a fool appeared at his door, and said tell me, dear wanderer, you wouldn't happen to know where a fool like myself can find the most valuable treasure around here? The wanderer knew better than to talk to any fool and kept his mouth shut. Why is that so? asked the fool. That is because I know that a fool is a cousin as much as a cousin is a cousin replied the wanderer. The fool then understood what the wanderer meant, and became like a cousin to the wanderer, and the fool later left the place in tears. Lost hours are sorrows. In the old world, a wise, old shepherd once approached an unmarried queen and asked her why is it so that you are so liked, you who were just an unmarried queen? The reason for is that I always make sure that everybody I encounter feels more liked than myself replied the queen. The shepherd had never before heard such insight spoken, and brought it with him for the rest of his life, and later in his life, he hung himself. Keep breathing. Notice the sensation of your respiratory system taking over your heartbeat. Robots should grab a hold of themselves. Tell yourself, I'm magical. Puberty is exactly like a bear trap. Pointless, but fun. Begin to feel the heaviness of your ego sinking into the floor. Obey the joy of sensuality. Let this very old saying be your guide. The work can sometimes be greater than the new normal. Think about how your head and your body are connected. Force yourself to isolate your pelvis. All right. Should be all set. Capture looks okay. Uh, most of the information is presented in the lower left. A little bits in the lower right. So a float camera probably would have been smart. Um, in the least intrusive place, I guess. But um, what are you gonna do? You guys will miss the Pokedex entries. I don't think too many people will care, but. Um, I was really curious about, uh, um, what the beginning, uh, the absolute beginning looks like, um, if you're doing it solo, I was doing it with a group, so <laughs> I figured it'd be fun to give it a shot. So let's, uh, do that. Pull up chat here. Might be pretty slow. That's okay, though. Uh, let's look at custom settings here. Oh, damage multipliers. Look at all these cool, uh, really cool accessibility options. 
and crank the EXP rate to just crazy town. Be goddamn cool. Hi, Pud. Wow, yeah, you can pretty much control every little aspect of the survival stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't know if these are all in the server config or not. It's like comma separated values and that's annoying. Some number of dropped items in the world. You poking me? So that I'll pet you? Well, you are a weird little kitty. Yeah. I'm hours to incubate massive eggs so you can make those take longer. Oop. Probably multiplies. Enable raid events. Off and on. Oh, it's probably off by default in single player. Huh, weird. Death penalty. Oh well, yeah, let's not drop equipment. And pals. <laughs> let's not drop equipment. That'll be nice. Lose your sack, but not your stuff. I like that. I'll have to see if that's an option for... Uh, maybe it's one, two, three, and four for the server. I'm hosting for a small group. So I thought it'd be fun to take a little peek at what single player looks like uh, and all the tasks that I'm not doing in the first couple hours. Cool. Give her. I haven't done any of the automation or base setup or anything. I built a little shack. <laughs> And I would really like to be a little better at taking care of it since I play a little more. Red, how you doing? There's already a Pokemon first gen mod? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I hope Game Freak strikes people for streaming with that. Entirely because I, wa I want to see the people fighting about it on Twitter. I loved Legends. I loved Pokemon Legends. And uh, some somebody else being like, let's do that, right? Let's take Breath of the Wild and cram it together with it and like a little bit of arc or whatever. Oh. Uh, I could just be hot fist. Oh, uh, da da da. <laughs> oh, man. The randomizer is so good. The randomizer is so good because there is absolutely nothing set apart for either gender. Um, either primary sexual characteristics person <laughs> this is the future liberals want this is the future liberals want <laughs> thank you random button thank you random button for doing this for me this is the future liberals want okay let's ruin this really fast boy torso size oh the abs go away we want abs we want maximum abs right there uh, gigantic fucking arms. Gig yep, there we go. Wait, tiny, tiny arms? No. I want the giant arms. I think. Yeah, just a ripped ass wide hip. Uh, okay, that is the wrong skin color. Yeah, pink. <laughs> These are terrible defaults. Uh, oh, I can mess with it. Okay. The whitest of white. Female. <laughs> nope. That looks like that little creep from, uh... I don't want to spend forever on the character creator. I want visibly female. That's that's hilarious. To do... Uh, Karen here? That Karen hair is pretty funny. Uh, oh, do I have PC audio capture on? I do not. Let me uh, let me tune that correctly so you can hear the frigging game. There we go. And then how loud is that? <laughs> Looks a little quiet, so we'll pull that up a little bit. And then just let me know if it's real loud. Recently gotten so good at Mania, you think you could do the hardest DDR charts. Oh. Mania. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> That one's funny. Sonic Mania? Probably not Sonic Mania, huh? What's the wrong hair color? Oh, yeah. Liberals. That's the joke. Blue hair. That's the future liberals want. Alright. I think we've done it. Osu Mania. I gotcha.
So are you saying transitioning to DDR? That seems weird. Like, it seems like a different skill set. So I'm guessing a lot. <laughs> oh, that's the future liberals. Forever. I'm guessing you mean DDR tracks in Osu? Which, I mean, makes sense. I, I would imagine that's probably a thing. Really glad that... Really glad that's what she looks like. I'm sorry, he looks like. Right? Yeah, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. Uh... Oh no, oh no, the map is not procedurally generated? Okay, the map is uh, always identical. That's, um... Really disappointing, actually. That's the same friggin' map. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself and spawn somewhere I've never been before then, so it'll be a little different. Hey, hey, Box, how you doing? Welcome back from GDQ. I bet you've been back. Oh, um, you have a lot of fun? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Been, uh, absolutely, absolutely just no life in, uh, gun Pokemon. So, so hard. Oh, does it pause in single player? Oh, it does not pause. Um, Pud knows. Pud knows as soon as I put this on. Um, Carl says hi back. Oh, that's nice. Well, I would say hi again if he was next to you. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to see, uh... Uh, it was really cool to see, um, the Glitch Showcase. Uh, it was crazy to see, uh, what... Marble. Marble I'd never seen before. And was not expecting a, like, very clean-cut, uh... Just, like, like handsome and normal-looking, like, engineer dude. It was... That, that I was not expecting. Uh, I, engineer makes a lot of sense, seeing the things Marble has made. I did, you did, yes, and I appreciate it. I was at least vaguely aware I exist. I was in one, the, the end of the Hardlock Cafe video. But he probably didn't edit it, so maybe he's not. Maybe he's like, who the fuck is that? It's a dumb enough name, though, that it might stick in your head. You ran into a guy who played on 9 scroll speed. 9 scroll speed. I don't know what that means. On the mouse? Okay, let's uh, put some treats in the cats. Hit DMs. I will look after I fill the cats with treats. Uh, NDI camera. Oh, I smell it. The tuna one doesn't smell as bad as the other ones, but it, it smells pretty bad. Okay, here we go. Cats. Cats are coming. Yeah, Pod, you're pretty excited, huh? You haven't had a treat in a little while. Crackers got hand-fed some chicken skin, but Crackers wouldn't, or Pud wouldn't come get any, so he didn't get any. Oh, man. That's the way to do it. Yeah, you jump right in his face, Pud. Yeah, you'll get some, too. Crackers, come on. There you go. I thought Pud was chasing around a mouse this weekend, but they never caught it. And I've never seen them not catch a mouse before. So I think Pud just got... Uh, I left a piece of silver vine out. I think he just got all excited and got crackers excited, and they just pretended there was a mouse. Because I looked. They were doing the pointing thing like, no, it's right here. Here's where it is. We're watching. And then I would pull out the thing, and there's nothing there. So maybe that was a prank? Wait, did you guys fucking prank me? Crackers, hey. Did you fucking prank me? I'm gonna fucking prank you. Okay, you're gonna prank yourself. Really? Really? There's nothing, there's, oh my god. I don't understand what ha causes them to be like that. <laughs> like so bad at trying to lick it. There we go. Yeah, Glitch Showcase was really, really cool. Uh, it was neat to see. I, I mean, you know, I could see you there. I could see Casey there, but <laughs> not very clearly. But you pointed it out. Uh, and uh, Janina Marble's uh, commentary was really great. Pranks on Car was really great. Was really expecting a hard lock. Was waiting for a hard lock. 
other than him just showing it off. But that must have been the... <laughs> Maybe somebody wanted to get permission before they did the hard lock, so it had to be all above board. Either way, it was really cool. I'm glad that there's at least still some interest in Mario Maker. But gobble. Gobble better. Gobble better! <laughs> I don't know why he gets so freaked out by the camera. Meanwhile, Crackers, you can just, like, touch his head. He doesn't care. I bet I could touch his eyeball. Yeah, I can literally touch his eyeball while I'm doing this. He doesn't love it, but he's not making any effort to stop it. Crackers learned at a very early age that I'm going to be a little rough, but he mostly likes it. And then he also knows that if he endures, he gets more petting. <laughs> Don't you, bud? A little more. Pud's turn. <laughs> bud, what's that face? <laughs> what is that face, buddy? A little more. Let's get the rest of that out of there. Get some of it in crackers here. There we go. Get a little bit in Pud. You ready? And just in case it's not clear, I can't. Oh, come on, Pud, have a little more. I don't want to give too much to Crackers and have him barf. Fine. Crackers, don't barf. You hear me? Don't barf. Don't barf crazy. <laughs> I can't see chat at all while well, I'm doing that, by the way. Yeah. Mario Maker 2. All right, let me hang this back up so I don't forget, because I left it out last time. My dad's good. When my desk is messy, I will forget. I also forget to talk loud when the microphone's not on me. I've toyed around with the idea of just getting a lapel mic and not having to worry about it, but I'm really bad at it. Ooh, you were hiding behind Marble's head. And the catnip. Did you wait till I sat down? You didn't. No, I just didn't see it. Okay, it's, it's going to be a throw. Directly into the cat's. The easiest way to show you there. See, you ready? It did get on there. They're looking at it. Oh, here goes crackers. I feel cheated. <laughs> hey, they're getting it. Oh, I wish I could discuss what's in store. I wish you could too. If there's any way I can ever help out that's in my wheelhouse, uh. I'm bad at, like, volunteering very effectively, but I like to be asked for help. <laughs> we'll put in a ticket. <laughs> oh. I wonder how many, like, generally knowledgeable IT people are just like that. Like, will not volunteer at all and just sit there. Like, I I watched Heidi's, um... It's keyboard and mouse. I can just play it. I watched Heidi's dad sit there telling her about, like, problems with his power supply, and I was listening... But I'm not going to dive in until he's like, do you have any idea why I'm having so much trouble with the power supply on my computer? And he didn't ask. So I didn't jump in. Spent enough time jumping in on that. Spent, sent scroll speed nonsense. Oh, there are seven messages from you. Oh, the chicken's killing me. Hey, this isn't a game I can pause. Yeah, I, I am really happy that uh, GDQ at least looked like it's still doing its job. That it should be probably fine. Um, I really wanted to try and get a run together. Now I actually want to try to get a get a run together even more. <laughs> of something that I think would be really fun. Because I feel like that would be the most fun way to try and engage. Just try and get good enough at something that I could contribute. Why are you punching the Pokemon? Well, see, because I don't have a gun yet, so I cannot. 1,400 milliseconds. I mean, that sounds really fast. Is one of these a video? One of these is not a video. These are pictures. You sent me pictures of something going fast. <laughs> You're grounded. Ooh. Not. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there are... There are... There are... There are some weird, definitely, definitely, definitely drawn by furries Pokemon. 
Okay, picking stuff up, doing some of this. Uh, but yeah, because I don't have a gun yet. Uh, I have, I think, 30 hours in this already. I should check. Be good information to have on hand here. Uh, 31 hours as of before stream. Um. And, um, had a lot of fun with it this weekend. Basically, like, full no-lifed it all weekend after working out and doing the things I have to do to be alive. Mostly no-life. Uh. It's been really, really fun to play with the group, but, like, the group kind of cut itself across different lines, and I like to explore and run around and fight stuff a lot more than I like to automate and base build and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm still getting 60 frames per second. I'm getting a little bit of screen tearing, though. That, no, I don't even see that in the capture. I should, I should probably turn on V-Sync if it's going to be this bad, though. It'll look less bad for you guys. Uh, and, uh... I'll turn down grass detail. That'll probably help a little. Oh. Esports. You can not. Yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, I especially wanted to play it because, um... Chris, why can't you stay in frame, buddy? He's just off the hot tub looking at me. Um, the discourse on the game has been, like, kind of ridiculous. And I know a good number of regulars are big, big Pokemon fans, so I thought it would be real interesting if they pop by to see what they think, if they actually watch, or if they tried it. A couple of people I know who are big Pokemon fans that have tried it and aren't, like, crazy Twitter people have been like, yeah, it's, it's just really goddamn fun. That vid. Cool. I will look at that later. It starts a little Minecrafty, You know, you're punching, you're punching chickens, punching trees. Oh, I have a sphere. Uh, I didn't realize I started with one, but I'm going to get one of these guys. I'm going to get a chicken. I fucking missed. If you throw too close, you miss. That That's the fucking thing. Ugh. Okay, how much wood do I have? 16 wood, 8. Not wood. I probably have enough to make a thing now. I guess I should finish punching this chicken. Oh, I think there's a noob noob trainer guy over here who gives you some stuff right away too. So talk to him. But um it's been it's been really fun. Uh there's a little tiny bit of like rust, like early rust or Valheim, or a lot of other people have said Ark. Um I haven't played Ark, uh, but that has been a really common thing to come up. Are you going to collect the chicken to eat it? So the corpses just roll around for, like, hours. They will just roll down hills and stick around. Sometimes you'll just find a pile of corpses. The number of things that are, like, gruesome to the point where they're kind of hilarious is great. Like, you can butcher um, not only the uh, Pokemon that you catch, but humans that you catch. Because you can throw Pokeballs at humans. That's a thing. Um, and then they become slaves also. But it is not subtle about the slavery stuff at all. This, my overlay? My overlay is a cat. <laughs> I'll look at DMs later. This is not a stream where I look at my DMs all stream. Oop, I lost Discord even. Oh, no. Just gives me wood. That should be enough to get going here. We have a crappy Meowth knockoff over here. A lot of the enemies in the very beginning, too, are just totally... Uh, non-aggressive, which is nice. Uh, okay. Build. Build. There we go. Been a while since I had to build anything. A lot of it's really rudimentary. Uh, and in a lot of ways it resembles what you see in other content games. Where it's kind of slapped together, right? But, uh, not to the point where it feels like a content game like, uh, Only Up or, uh... I can't think of any other content games I checked out. But, like, there's there's actually enough going on here that it's um, a ton of fun. 
like on its own. And I, I've already got 30 hours in it. I'm only halfway to max level. It's slowing way down after like level 15, 18 or so. Um, And I'm playing with a group. So I think we'll easily get to the end game at like 60 hours, which is a crazy amount of content for a $30 game. So even if, even if they don't develop it much more, it's still a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see what PvP ends up looking like too. Get a torch right away. Get all Minecrafty. I see. I would like to alt tab over to Discord. This is one of the most annoying things here. You have to hold the goddamn button to do work, and there is nothing else you can do. That looks very fast. Uh, that's that's what Osu looks like. I've seen. I swear to God, I've seen Osu that was uh, drawing on the screen. Am I confusing Osu with something else where you're tracing stuff with the mouse while also clicking stuff? Do do. Oh, okay. So Osu is more oriented towards. Uh, Osu Mania is more oriented towards um. Uh, DDR almost style inputs. Also has four main game modes. I gotcha. So the drawing one is probably the popular one. That's why that's the only one I've seen. <laughs> I cannot look at that lady and not, dude. I can't look at this person and not immediately think this is the future liberals want. Blue hair girl, male chest, giant hips. Dude, 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 dude. I need some more rocks before I can do this. So let's do pickaxe first. I can pick up a whole lot more st sticks than stones. Break my bones. Hurdy dur. Okay. Get some sticks. Stones. Get some stones. Break some bones. <laughs> but yeah, it, it really felt like super early, like pre remake rust to me in a lot of ways, which um, I really enjoyed. That was some of the most fun I ever had, both solo and in groups. Both in groups I didn't know. And I very rarely played with groups of, like, randos. Like, guilds online. Uh, I, lots of times, Diablo and stuff, I would make um, a friend. Or I would play with uh, one of several people that I liked in uh, IRC. <laughs> I'm pretty old. Um, or similar. Or even once in a while, people I met in game. Uh... But very rarely did I actually want to join large groups. And uh, Rust was one of the only times where I've joined other people's public groups. And uh, enjoyed that experience a little bit. Okay, that's that's got to be enough rocks for it. Osu Standard is the main mode. Other modes are Mania. The one you play that looks like DDR Taiko. Like the drum game. Catch and the weird cousin no one talks about. I just, I wish that there was a uh, Osu to uh, Beat Saber Pipeline, because I feel like that's the, the correct rhythm game. And it looks like I, oh yeah, I probably have to unlock balls, don't I? Yes, I have to unlock balls. Okay, so, yeah, the way the skill tree ends up working is that you get a number of points when you level up and when you accomplish all kinds of different tasks. Uh, and then you just click on something and unlock it. It's rudimentary, but, like, it's been really satisfying to get a couple of things each time you level up. And, like, you get these special purple ones over here when you, um, when you do, uh, special things. Like, fight bosses and stuff. Um, and there have been no hints of microtransactions or stupid, uh, gotcha shit at all either, which has been... Adolf. Adolf.ai is the right rhythm game. <laughs> Is that VR? Is it is it VR? I would really like more VR rhythm games that aren't um uh audio shield and the dance of fire and ice. It's not VR, yeah, then it can buck off. I want more pad upon, which is coming, and I want a better beat saber. That's a single button game. Oh, that's not very fun. Get these unlocked. I'm gonna need a campfire. I'm gonna need storage. I'm gonna need building. Uh, I'm, I probably, yeah, there's nobody else. I'm gonna want bows right away, too. 
that's one of the things, too, is we can all kind of draft on each other. But uh, that is less possible um, early on. Oh, go. Oh, speaking of build a build a fire, build a fire and a little shack and go to bed. Boy, that is dark on that screen. That's dark on the monitor. Here too. Let's light it up a bit, but dark. Well, maybe I'm just used to the gamma being gamma being crazy high on my other monitor. Do 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 do. Go more than two extra inputs and you fail. Oh, see, I um, like I'm I'm improving over time in Beat Saber. But from the very beginning, I've been playing no fail mode, and I take note of where I fail and eventually stop failing and get better at songs and the game in general. Um, but man, I really like not failing because then you get to hear the whole thing and play the whole thing. Uh, okay, let's uh, cook some berries. And you also have to manually cook or make a slave do it. I really need to go and catch a little slave. Oh, I should have stuff to make those too, right? I, I can now make some of these. Get those made. That's why Adolf.ai has no fail. That's really close to Adolf.ai, and I'm certain someone must have bought that URL by now. I don't know what the full name is. I'm just going to keep assuming you're mistyping Adolf.ai, and that's the website. I need food. Uh, the survival stuff isn't great, but it's also uh, relatively automated to the point where, like, eventually you get a thing that basically you just automatically eat. So you don't have to play too much of the eating food all the time thing. But then some food has buffs and stuff on it, too. It's, it's pretty much doing what everybody else has done, all kind of thrown together. There's a good, good heaping bit of Breath of the Wild in here, too. You can build um, paragliders really early on as well. Uh -oh, go to bed. I don't want to be in. A dofe. <laughs> that sounds like how... Uh... <laughs> How someone with a strong Asian accent might say Adolf. Oh. Uh, building. Okay. Insufficient materials. Oh, I need more wood. Okay. Some wood. Yeah, I'm a little sad the map is always identical. Uh, because I already know where a bunch of shit that I need to go to is. And there isn't a ton going on on the map. The map is simple enough that I immediately was like, obviously it's procedurally generated. Why wouldn't it be? We are going to build the world's crappiest house here. Uh, I leveled up building. <laughs> Trees. Thickness square box. How you doing? No, she does not skip anything. Oh, it's a dude. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no gender limitation, so it's uh at least male chest, which is the most identifiable sexual characteristic. So, uh, I just I got a big kick of out of just constant. This is this is the future liberal font. Okay, this has been a lot of fun though. This little shack. It checks for a roof for a bed. Oh, I need wool build a friggin' bed. Never mind. I guess we're not building a bed yet. How are you doing, square box? Um, and once you start having a couple of captured pals, which we really need to get on here, um, up down here, you little fucker. Oh, I'm overburdened. Something weighs too much. Couple of pieces of ore that I picked up. Once you get a couple of these guys caught, 
Uh, you can make them... Oh, he can't do campfire stuff. You can make them do work for you. Uh, he's not able to do campfire stuff, though. Now I'm full of berries. How long till Nintendo buys us out? I honestly think it's legally distinct enough that we don't have to really be concerned that Nintendo's going to try and uh, crush it. That said, they could try to buy something like this out. Okay, it's cold outside. I really wish I had wool right away. That would have been nice. It's actually kind of an annoying thing getting started because you can die of cold. Uh, and you, you really don't lose much even if you're respawning close in a safe area. No, I, I think it's legally distinct enough that Nintendo would have trouble with the cease and desist. Oh yeah, the, the Pokemon mod that somebody did could definitely, could for sure. Uh, I should really download that earlier than later. Just in case it gets pulled. Um... But the game itself, um, I, I think the game is relatively distinct. A lot of people have been getting mad that, like, it's just a ripoff, but, like, Cormon, Monster Rancher, Digimon, uh, Cassette Beasts, real recently, um, uh, there are so many other ones. We've had a bunch of cool creature capture games pretty recently that have been trying to horn in on the iPod. He's being crazy. He got the good catnip up his nose, it looks like. Um, there have been a lot of creature capture games pretty recently that have been, uh, um, doing pretty well. But this isn't even remotely, like, you can't even, like, one move at a time Pokemon battle here. Let's explore all possibilities of copyright issues. Yeah, well, and they sold, um, three million copies already? Maybe more by now, but they had sold three million already? So, there's a really good chance that they could afford the lawsuit. At least for long enough to keep making more money. And that lawsuit is going to shine a big, bright light on them. Oh, my torch keeps me warm. Great, I can run around with the torch for a little bit. That lawsuit uh, will shine a big, bright light on them. And uh, give them a lot more attention and a lot more sales. And I don't want... That's not where I want to see... Uh, dev money go to is just a lawsuit, but I feel like they could they could afford it. They could handle it. Can you give me wool? Oh, thank God, he gave me wool. Now I could go to bed if if it wasn't almost daytime. Oh yeah, it looks like daytime. Just yeah, clicked over. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna go break all this down anyway. Oh, I guess I don't need to. It's friggin' like four pieces of wood. Yeah. Four pieces of wood. I don't care. Um. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty grumpy about it, which I, I thought was really interesting. Um, Nintendo people have a tendency to get way up in the tribalism on Twitter, um, which always blows me away, but it's really, really... The number of people posting stuff like, this company abandoned their last game, and then I, I took 20 seconds to Google it, found the patch notes in Steam where they post their updates. They literally were updating Craftopia every, like, two or three weeks for, like, five years for like the last three years or whatever since it's been out like they literally never stopped updating it including like big feature updates like and then people post like well they used ai to develop the game and then you dig into it and all they've done was one of the developers one of the people who works for the company i think it was pretty high up was talking about ways they could use uh ai in the future to change their workflow to use a tool as a tool and everybody's like oh my god it's evil it's an ai game like okay the tool you don't need to be afraid of a tool uh, I don't want to play that, the fucking game where NVIDIA has that terrible bartender. You know, that looks like garbage. What They're not even doing a game. It's just their stupid tech demo with the world's dumbest GPT bartender. Um, but also, there's no strong evidence that they, like, used AI to develop this game in any part other than it might have been a part of some, I don't know, graphical workflows or something. Yeah, that I mean, and that whole argument is just facetious and stupid. It's the same thing that we've been de we were dealing with with uh, Photoshop when that first came out. Treasure. There's enough random treasure and lore stuff scattered around that exploring is kind of fun too. Although you know it, it mostly spawns in the same place and not being procedurally generated, I guess you're not going to get much out of it. So I hope, yeah, the corpse will just roll around. <laughs> oh. Um, 
we, we saw the same arguments with Thaw. I don't want fall damage. I do not have a glider yet. The same arguments with Photoshop and with tons and tons of other new tools that change the game. Yeah, there's there's fall damage. It's not severe, but it's enough that I don't want to die. I think I can drop it over. Nope, still took a little fall damage. Oh, you know what would actually be really smart? Well, I'm just I'm probably only gonna play single player for, you know, a stream or so. So I'll just set up wherever and start moving around here. You can swim. Yeah, you can swim. You don't drown in deep water. There are different uh, pals, Pokemon. I'm just going to keep using Pokemon terms. I don't care. Um, there are different uh, Pokey pals that can uh, swim in the water with you so that you don't... In the water, you lose stamina. Yeah, there we go. When you're swimming, faster, slow. Um, the Pokemon lose stamina when, you're, when they're going fast, but otherwise you can just ride on a swimming Pokemon in the water indefinitely. <laughs> Uh, attacking a little dude next to a bigger dude who's much higher level who will instantly fucking, like, cock stomp uh, does not aggro them either. When you get deeper into the game, there are more enemies who are naturally aggressive, but early on, it's very, very, very chill, which is pretty nice, too. Those thighs? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, float upside down. Look, he worked hard for this figure. <laughs> To be the champion of all... Is that a femboy? Is it still femboy if you're ripped? Can you be a femboy only in the face? That's the question here. Uh, let's see here. Where is that? This thing. This thing that lets us do stuff. Pop this over here. Pop it right here. Seems fine. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, you can call the guy back and then throw them at it and tell them, you do it. You do the friggin' work. Uh, are you serious? There's no way that you can't swing a hammer. Where are you going? Oh, he's trying to fight somebody still. Idiot. Okay. Oh, nope. They are all, they're all engaged in some kind of fight over there, and they're all going for it. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Find out. What's your fucking problem over here? I mean, it's, you know, it just came out. They haven't patched it at all. Sometimes it's weird. Where the hell are you guys going? That is weird. Can I see server? I can't see server FPS on a locally hosted game. That's my lamb. I don't know what their problem is. Uh, here. Command to don't attack. You can also pet them. I feel like that's that's day one stuff. But they did it. Right out the gate. Which is good. Yeah, you can swim. Some pals can fly. Um, which makes which is much easier than climbing and a good deal faster. Climbing does not seem well fleshed out. There, now he's doing it. And then as you start building out a base of operations, you can assign a uh, little Pokemon that just stay at the base. And they need like a bed and stuff to eat and all that stuff. Otherwise they get unhappy, so we're going to pull him back, but... For now. But the actual, like, base building automation is surprisingly, um, uh, well fleshed out. What the fuck? Oh, I threw the, I pressed the wrong button. I'm smart. Yeah. I pressed the wrong button twice. E! Build it with me. It starts out really cute, 
Uh, and it gets um, weirdly sinister really, really fast. And you have... Did you just collect that stick for me? Oh my god. He collected the stick and he's putting it in the box for me. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that they would start doing work like that like immediately. That's adorable. Um, but there, there is a ton of... Yeah, uh, like satirical but almost not like embracement of slave labor. Uh... I can't build the, like, slave driver platform yet. But your, your options are basically, like, regular work, work harder, and work insanely hard. And it, like, flat out tells you, like, this will decrease their sanity super fast. But it does not give you any reason not to do it. Uh, and it definitely treats them a lot more disposably. They are food as well as, you know, buddies. Found a bunch of stuff. Let's build a... Good bench over here. Wow. He's acting like he's going to come help, but he did not make it. Okay. And let's build a little shack. Get rid of some of this wood anyway. Little shack. Little shack, start with the foundation. That would be smart, huh? Although I don't need a shack, I could probably just have everything out because there are no other people here and it's flagged a single player. But that's okay. You know, building is an important thing. So it's it is multiplayer. Yeah, it's both. Um you can play it 100% offline. There is a huge pile of community servers that are often very crowded and you can both self-host and uh with like self-hosting a dedicated server or host via the um uh just an invite code to like basically self-host whenever you're playing. So there are a lot of ways to uh there we go to make it work. Uh, multiplayer is really fun. I have the 30 hours that I have in it is multiplayer. Uh, and that is also why I kind of wanted to stream it today was, um, I really wanted to know what, um, the rest of the automation looked like when you're start getting started on a base and like treating, um, the, the animals, the pals when they get sick and everything. Cause I've been ignoring it. And you know, when you're getting constant pings about like, Hey, your pals have severe depression from overwork. Can you can you do something about that? Can you can you cure them? And like, no, I don't know how. Somebody else does all that. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> there we go. Little shack. Built a little shack. I kind of feel like it should have a little tiny bit of stairway in the front. Bad. Bad without it. Little shack. Yeah, it's nowhere near as robust as Valheim. Valheim is exceptional in the simplicity and uh, functional fun of their building system. Oh, I need more wood. Um, that we just don't get. We flat out do not get in a lot of other, like, simple builders. But it's serviceable. I really hope they... Yeah, it's basically Fortnite building. I really hope we get, um, more expansions to how the building system works. Their previous game, Craftopia, the building literally looked like Fortnite. It looked like they crammed together Fortnite and Breath of the Wild. This one, it looks like they crammed together um, a little more other games into it. That was a big thing for me, too. Like, dude, there is no better idea for cramming out content games and making money than taking a bunch of good ideas and sticking them together and trying to make it fun. Like, like literally, like, let's do Tears of the Kingdom, but have it be like a fucking, like, card battler, like, inscription. Uh, and then we'll also have, like, really crazy exploration stuff. Like, if some, if that was all a trailer told me was just those words in a sticker, I'd be like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna buy this as soon as it comes out. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, a merchant. What are you doing wandering around over here? I... Oh, he doesn't have anything cool for sale. Got bones, I guess. That's kind of nice. 
Um, the merchant is only level one, so let's uh let's do this. Oh, he's got a gun. Who gave you a gun? <laughs> we gonna get him? No, come on. Uh oh. I should have made more spheres. Don't run away! Don't shoot me! Oh my god. Bam! Make more spheres for me. I'm gonna throw them at him. But yeah, enslave. Enslave is an option. Fun. Let me have let me have the dude. Awesome, we got him. <laughs> a captured human on Palpergo's Island. Capturing humans is considered inhumane. <laughs> Uh, so anyhow, I have this guy now. Wait, can I still buy stuff from you when you're out? Come back. Where's he going? Buddy, are you trying to leave? I don't know where you think you're going. You belong to me now. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking game. Slavery level 10. Yeah, I mean, you get on it. You get on it right away. Humans don't make good companions, but they sell for a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Can I not buy from him anymore? Let me buy from you, pal. Damn, I was really hoping I could still buy from him. I haven't tried to catch a merchant before. Um, He really wants to leave. Where the hell do you think you're going to go if I let you leave, pal? Like, what is your actual plan here? No, you just... You don't know what to do. That's fine. Go away. <laughs> uh, I'm not familiar with Clash Royale. I don't know what that is. Dog riders? Chicken. Uh, catching pals. Um, Even in great excess of just one. I think ten is the number that you want for each pal uh, is a huge experience boost. You get a ton of experience for catching duplicates, which is a really cool way to, to do that. Uh, he is... Put him in there and he'll recover a little faster. Oh, the, ball, the bird has a major injury, so we'll put him in there to recover too. Uh, mobile game, gotcha game, card game specifically. Oh yeah, no thanks. All mobile games are bad, but mobile games certainly have a higher tendency to be bad than anything else. Um, I do like, you know, uh, card games in general. Uh, but I have uh, Inscription and uh, something else just came out that looked really good too. Oh, it was good, and then... <laughs> And then Tencent. And then Tencent did what Tencent does. I really don't like Tencent. Don't they have a majority investment in somebody big, too? In, like, the people who make Borderlands or something? I know they have their dirty little tendrils in something big that's a little spooky. Hellworld sold 5 million copies already. Good God. Also, think it's really funny that people are like getting haughty about like Nintendo wouldn't allow the Nintendo would never stand for, for for a game like this. Like, have you browsed Nintendo's eShop on the Switch? The fucking Switch is by weight, like by number, it's sixty to seventy percent shovelware. I bet five percent of games on the Switch alone are Minecraft clones. Oh, I have way too much crap on me, and I can't move. That was stupid. Oh, the cat. If I pull the cat out, uh, I think it makes my weight limit go up. That's what, not enough to matter. Let's uh, throw some of these. Oh no. Drop, and then I'll go put those in that chest I made. And then I'll come back and get them. Oh, are you going to gather the wood for me? No, you're running around.
Uh, quick stack. There we go. Stack. Got some baked berries. Bake some more berries. Oh, I should bake some berries here. I can make someone else do that. Go build the bed. That's what we were doing. Let's put it randomly askew in the building. Let's get that guy assigned to the base. He can at least help build stuff. Did your major injury go away? It did. Good. Let's get back out. Good. See, now he's got a job and he's he's doing slavery just like he wanted to. Aren't you happy now, Mr. Merchant? Here. Yeah, see, they come and help you, and it's real nice at first. Till their sanity starts to fall apart. <laughs> it has been a ton of fun, though. I'm, uh... I've been kind of blown away by how much fun uh, we've all been having with it. And, like, I have criticism. I've submitted criticism to them in the, uh... Uh... Hey, do you know how to kindle? I don't think you... Um, I have criticism. I wish, like, this... This should just be sticky. I get that you don't want to let me walk away from it because you want to encourage me to automate the action. I understand that. But for the love of God, let me press F and the character keeps cooking and I can use my hand. I want to use my hand. I can smoke. This game is making me smoke too much. Um... You're not you're not trapped doing it this way. Like you don't absolutely have to suffer this way. Uh because you pals will do it. It's just that early on you do have to do it. It's really only for the first tiny little bit. Oh well, yeah, you can't see it in the top left hand corner because I'm in the way, but um pretty much uh, everything you do rewards experience too. I'm halfway to level five just from building stuff. So if you have people, if you're playing with a group and some of the people in the group literally just want to help run the base and uh, take care of the pals at the base and do that kind of stuff, they will still gain experience and level up along with everything else. This is very annoying. I am done baking berries. <laughs> Everybody ate food. I worked more on pillars. Uh, what? Closet some stuff. Probably make a couple more boxes. Basically weightless. Oh, uh, and anything in storage, um, it pulls from storage to uh, use. Which is nice, but also when you're in a group or guilds together, um, you can like party together and do stuff together, but all the storage is shared between everyone. Which is really annoying. Hey, whenever the lights are on, Mario Maker music plays in my head. That's what I've learned. I'm gonna get some more palladium. Oh wait, wait, it said there was an upgrade available. Let's look at that. Base upgrade. I can have more pals. Oh, I can base upgrade again. So now we need beds. Oh, technology Cow beds. Uh, I don't need a repair bench yet. I do want a shield. Oh my god, and clothing. Can't make the baseball bat for a few more levels, so maybe I'll make this. Better. The baseball bat's really fun. The game is a little lacking on melee weapons, uh, and melee weapons are more for like chip damage and bringing stuff down, which is a little sad. Oh, berry plantation. Okay, yeah, this is a lot of the stuff I didn't mess with. Plantation, the ranch. Care about the decorative stuff. Okay, uh, get some of that set up here. Let's get some beds over here. L bed, straw bed. Needs a good amount of wood, so... Yeah, you guys can sleep behind my house. The dirty little guys that you are. Yeah, I need more wood. 
wollte. But yeah, I was... When I first picked it up, a buddy of mine wanted to play it, um, and it looked fun. I, I saw some of the really early trailers, and I thought that it looked really fun for a game that wasn't taking itself too seriously, but that it probably wouldn't be fun long-term. Then I saw the pre-release trailer that got a lot of attention um, right before release and thought, oh no, they're taking it more seriously. This looks like it's trying to be a game now. Uh, but they, they found a really good middle ground where I honestly, like, I can't tell if it's supposed to be criticism of uh, capitalism and how, um, like, anarchy just turns into capitalism every single time. Or if they didn't even think that far ahead and it just kind of works out that way because... That's the funniest thing to do in a game driven by slavery. <laughs> like, it's impossible to tell what their actual perspective is here, what the satire is, but it's it's definitely dripping in obvious satire in the way a lot of the systems work. The descriptions of different pals, the descriptions of different interactions and things you can do. And, like, the deeper you get, the funnier it seems to get. But the more impossible it is to tell for sure. Like, wait, which, which, of, these is, which of these is real? Which is actually a lot of fun. Like, legitimately a lot of fun that I can't tell what their 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 actual outlook is here. Oh, hey, you picked up a lot of rocks over here, buddy. Good job. Uh, like actual uh, Matt and Trey energy. Strong Matt and Trey energy, I would say. In that it just isn't clear uh, if they're if they're critical of both sides uh, or no sides or like where they're actually landing on any of that. Quick stack, quick stack is nice. Got a few more beds built for these little assholes. Oh, I'm on fire. Why am my axe is damaged already? These have to be pretty pretty big distance apart. Oh no, they don't. It was just close to the house, I guess. these going um it takes forever cat yeah the cat's building um the number of systems that there are and how well they interact with each other also makes it bizarre how effective the systems are um, even for ones that aren't super well fleshed out, like the lazy building system, that uh, pal pathing for picking up garbage for you, because that's what we started doing in our big base with like 10 people in it, is we're just throwing crap on the floor, and the pals put it away for us. It's awesome. Windows doesn't let you go between monitors. Like, you, if you move the mouse slowly, it doesn't click over, because that is usually a feature on purpose, but if it's really, really hard, you might have a small gap in between them. Especially if you have more than two monitors, sometimes a gap forms depending on how they're arranged. But if you're doing it really gently, it does that kind of on purpose. If it's super gentle, it'll just kind of touch the edge. Sleep. Yeah, it's not a femme boy. This, this is a femme man. <laughs> oh, somebody was cooking. Which one of you guys has kindling? You don't have kindling. Oh, no, that's changes. You don't have kindling. You do not have kindling. Maybe the guy does. Maybe he knows how to run a fire. I don't think they cook on their own, do they? Oh, it looks like they do cook on their own very, very, very slowly. That's cool. Eat some of those. Uh, okay, what are my next steps here? I want to capture lots of pals. I want to increase my weight limit and my health. Good deal. Make a bunch more of these. Need more palladium. I need more everything. Pals are just sentient. They're probably sentient. Yeah, if you're having trouble to the point where it feels like it's tough, it really shouldn't be tough. You might want to just go in and rearrange them and make sure that they're touching and lined up. If they're the same 
um, like exact same dimension monitor, like both 1080p, it should be really easy to just line them up and have them snap. Uh, in Windows 7, it was a problem, and if you use the NVIDIA um, Display Arranger, it can be a problem where they have, uh, where they're, uh, if you're using the NVIDIA Arranger, where they will have, they can have a tiny gap in between them, and you won't necessarily know, but it will make it horrible. Then you need to, like, actually hit it hard. Or, yeah, turn the speed up on your mouse. I leave mouse acceleration on. I play shooters with mouse acceleration on. I get annoyed if the game turns it off. Uh, I, I'm moving my wrist two inches to basically turn all the way around here. Maybe three inches. That's ideal for me. And then mouse precision... Well, I guess I don't have anything, but with point of precision, I can still be real precise. Yeah, I play with mouse acceleration. Deal with it. I want it to go fast when I want it to go fast, and slow when I want it to go slow. I want to have both those things and not have to do this. This is not fun. This is not a fun desk motion for me. Chopping this tree is not fun either. Uh. Oh, I only have one more of the fragments anyway. Okay, let's go throw some balls. Oh, I should make the spear. And the bow if I can. make the bow. Need more wood. And make the spear. Somebody else can finish that for me. I'll go get some wood. Make the bow. Make some arrows. Yeah, some games turn it off. Um, most games allow you to have uh, gum allow you to toggle it in game motion smoothing mouse acceleration mouse smoothing some dumb thing like that but yeah still better still better than playing with a with a friggin uh joystick i don't understand the people who play shooters on pc now with uh with an xbox controller like what are you doing a oh, weapon is damaged. I have to fix my stupid, uh, I fix my stupid axe that's been on screen forever, I'm betting, and I just haven't seen it. Okay, let's build, uh, air bench. I did not buy the repair bench yet. Yeah, because I'm dumb. The Pal Gear workbench. Cool. And the statue. Use <laughs> sports. Statue is also pretty important. Yeah, motion controls are real nice on the. Uh, I don't know why Xbox doesn't do that. As it being just like the the last inch, like you can aim with the stick and then fine tune it with that. That's basically what I get with mouse acceleration too. Is that I can do big, wide sweeping motions and then slow down for precision, and that works well for me. I need a lot more palladium for that. Air bench. We're gonna put right by this other bench. Make him kiss. Come over here and fix this. More wood. God damn. Bow and arrow. Oh, what do I need for the shield? I need a lot of palladium and wood as well. Can I sign one of you guys to go and farm wood for me? Yeah, different different strokes for different folks too. Yeah, when it's when it's just tracking, when it's tracking someone or something specifically, and especially when I mostly play single player stuff, I do fine with it. Stuff like that, it's super annoying. Okay, no, not mining. I'm gonna go get some slaves to mine for. Me. 
kind of wish whoever was doing all the spining, the cat, would pick up after himself. Bud. Chat thing here is right over one of the, like, text things on screen. I just, I can't read either of them. There we go. Beer is a good deal more damage than the club, so... And to poke some pals. Oops. Damn, the easy ones are so easy to catch. Stop running away. Man, attack aggressively. Go and kill that guy. Yeah, it's pretty annoying without a bow. I probably should go and make a bow. The cat wants to run. Oop, and my little dude killed the other dude. Hey, you get pretty significant bonuses for capturing multiples, too, which is nice. You know, level up just from catching a couple of lambs here. Hang on a sec. What is that cat doing? Oh, you're murdering. You're murdering more lambs. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, see? Leveled up just from killing a couple of things. Pud's doing something. Pud's up here sniffing. Wants to get the little bit of left behind. There we go. Baseball bat. Stone pit and the logging site. There we go. Oh, I don't think I want to fight that guy yet. I'm pretty sure that's going to hurt. You better not attack that guy. If you fail to catch one, you lose the ball. Yeah, the ball is depleted if you fail. Uh, the ball is also depleted in that case, where I threw it, but the guy died before it made contact. If it makes contact at the same time, it's basically a guaranteed capture, but it's not consistent. You can also just run away, and it will tell you if you caught it or not. Yeah, there why are you pulling up the green screen? He's pulling off the green screen at this point. Cut. Stop yanking. Now I have to fix it. Because I don't want there to be a brown spot. Stay up there. Don't need to tug at the, the cloth. He has so much fun pretending to dig up there. It's so weird. I thought Pud was, was a Pokemon. <laughs> He'd be a good Pokemon. But he wouldn't listen. He would be one of the defiant ones. He's back. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Where's the cat can? Are you going to lay down now, Pod? Is that what we're doing? He was. He was digging so hard. Yeah, it looks like he's just gonna chill now and be a cat. It was mostly in focus. That was a mistake. I don't have a parasail yet. Oh, that's my friggin' Pokemon I was chasing. Whoops. Yeah, there isn't really any ability to customize them, and it's hard to tell. I definitely get confused if it's mine sometimes. Here we go. I need more of these blue rocks down here, too. Three Pokeballs. 
Ooh, Pokemans. Yeah, you do find balls just at random sometimes, too. A lot of the initial enemies really don't put up much of a fight. If you poke them and then stop, they will start fighting back. But for the most part, it starts pretty gentle. Combat gets, I would say, pretty dynamic later. The boss fights are actually pretty fun. The first one is really clearly aping the um, the punk rock lady boss fight in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield to the point where it like seems like they're actually making fun of how bad that was by not being as bad. I do think it's pretty funny that the last couple of Pokemon games have been made by thousands and thousands of people, and this was made by about 50 people. Not one person, but it's a pretty small goddamn group. Need all the Paldium. Yeah, that guy. Uh, not aggressive to start, but if you start smacking him, he's gonna be real mad and maybe ruin your house. Yeah, we all kind of we all kind of were thinking that this weekend too. Like, this is like the most fun we've had playing a game like this, like a group game where we're all working together on stuff since like Valheim came out. Valheim uh, was twenty twenty one, right? But that was another one that was kind of uh, yeah, it was twenty twenty one. Yeah, look at me, uh, remembering things. Um, it, it was one of those things that came out in the pandemic and like. It was really, really cool. It had a really peaceful aesthetic. God, I'm tired of this thing breaking. Really peaceful aesthetic that was really, 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 really fun. And everybody was into it. And we were all in the middle of the pandemic, so it was a really great way to reconnect with people I hadn't talked to in months or even like a year in some cases. I started playing it with three, with two different friend groups and also Heidi got dragged into one of the friend groups. That's why I started saying three. Um, because we were all all just playing it together. We were all having a ton of fun with it. We were all talking about it constantly and having a ton of fun with it. And it was awesome. Uh, and it's not like just any survival game does that either. Like, a lot of these people don't want to play or don't care about Rust. I had a lot of fun with Rust, but it's really focused on, like, some of the most bitter, vitriolic player versus player combat in any game I've ever played. Um... Other people are the best survival horror enemies. It's not a survival horror game at all, but it fucking is sometimes. Without any warning or rhyme or reason, horrifying shit happens in Rust. It's a great game, but it is, it is definitely not for everybody. Um, it's fun. Um. Yeah, Raft didn't appeal to a lot of them. And I, I have it on my list, but I never checked it out because it seemed like it'd be fun to play with people, but no. Subnautica looks like it would be fun to play alone, but I haven't played it yet. I don't know if there's even multiplayer in it. Chicken. I killed the chicken. I'm getting too strong. The chickens you just kind of randomly get critical hits on because they're basically all face, too. For most enemies, their face or their head are the critical hit area, but for the like the all these ball-shaped enemies, you basically just get critical hits. One more lamb and then I'm done with lambs. Yeah, that San 100 next to the Wanderer, uh, the Merchant, that's his sanity. The longer they work, and the worse the conditions are, the worse their sanity gets. So that's fun. Okay, I still need wood. Get some wood. Oh, I gotta repair the axe, too. Oh. Pud was looking right at the rock I was smacking. Good. Pud, watch the tree for me. Oh, it's not working. Not working. Not gonna happen. Facing the wrong way. More weight. Uh, weight seems to be the absolute most important thing. That is what I learned. Making my way to level 25 so far is that 
Uh, attack seems to have very little impact in total. HP and weight are incredibly useful. I'm a little sad attack doesn't do a lot, but I would imagine most people playing a game like this want to be Pokemon trainers more than they want to be the shooter. But you can also use the Pokemon as weapons, too, which seems to be really effective. Make that. Fix the pickaxe here. Is it lag? Oh, yeah, it is lagging a little bit, too, on the... Uh... On the single player, so it might just be a little poorly optimized. And that's that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play this today, is I really wanted to know um, uh, if the same types of problems would be happening uh, online as they were offline. Um, because I don't know how much of it is the fault of my 10-year-old processor in my server. Uh, which, it has tons of overhead. It's not clapping out at all. It's not choking anywhere. But it still seems to be kind of choking. I don't know how better to explain it other than that's that's just what ha what's happening. It sucks. Fifty, yeah. I like the bat. Alright, I'm gonna save the old weapons to sell, maybe? I don't know. I think there was some other stuff I really needed. Aldium for. Aldium for. Okay, let's get some more of you guys assigned to the base here. Do any of you guys have... Yeah, you can see in the... Right where Puzz Lang. <laughs> uh, they have different traits, passive skills that they roll with. That changes their defense or your defense. They can interact and buff you. Uh, and then they also have partner skills. Like an active skill you can use when that Pokemon is out. So they, they can assist directly with combat by being out. As well as having combat skills you can use with them. They learn their own skills, up to three active skills, which is pretty cool, um, that they'll just use on their own. Some pals that you can ride, you can then control and choose which active skill they use, uh, and then deal with the cooldowns that they have to deal with and that kind of stuff. And then there are a couple of pals that like you can put a leash on, and then they just stay out all the time, and they help attack with you. Uh, and it's, uh, there's, it's, it's a really, really, really dynamic system for the way the summons work. The point where you can basic oh uh, some of them turn into guns like you can turn one of the pals into a flamethrower or into a machine gun or uh, one of the ones that was a big meme on Twitter was that the bird that shits exploding eggs you just like grab it you like put it in a headlock and you start slapping its ass so it shits eggs out and they explode and that's that's just what you do with that guy. Uh, well, pacifist is terrible. You can go be a pacifist over there. I don't want a downtrodden chicken either. I don't want a cowardly cat. Oh, but it is my only cat. Uh, Burly body. Bring you into the fold here, Mr. Burly. Logging foreman. Can you even log? Or do you make me log better? Player logging efficiency. Okay, yeah. If you are out, I'm better at logging. So let's grab you. Well, he's got swift. He moves fast. Let's grab this dirt grass guy. The type chart's really simple so far. Oh, actually, I think I can pull it up in game. We'll grab the coin too. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a pretty robust guide in here for uh, controls, objectives, what to do, how the HUD works, how everything works. That goes over all the systems in game too. But the tutorial in the top right there gives you a lot of direction to go in beginning as well. Um, but the uh, right in here is there's elements, the type chart, which also shows you that uh, much like a, another popular monster battler game, it really isn't a good reason to use neutral Pokemans if you can help it. Oh. Do 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 do. Lucky Pals. Luckies are their equivalent to uh, Shinies, and instead of being different colored, which I would have really liked, um, they are enormous, which is pretty great. And then they have extra good stats. This is the future that liberals want. I can't not think that every single time. Okay, uh, do we have any more base upgrades? We need a feed box. Bow so, technology. Feed box. We'll unlock that. 
Uh, unlock the bat. I don't care about the poison arrows. Breaking down stone and wood to exchange them for other materials. I don't know what that does. make more of these but there's something else i needed to make oh yeah i need i need wood and to make the shield and i need cloth to make that so let's make two cloth why is he just pushing buttons that's not really that's not really a sensical way to craft bud <laughs> okay let's make the parachute He's just, he's coming behind me and he's just pushing my buttons. That's all he's doing. He's poking my backpack and that's his contribution to this, this process. Off he's gone. This has been really chill though. And I can see how, survive, why survival games do so well with like, um, the large like streamer clicks that were coming up, coming together around him is that they give you, oh, uh, I can buy stuff from him. Weird. Uh, I don't know what the criteria is to let me buy from him, but yeah, I can buy from him. Okay, well, let's buy. Oh. Yeah, which. Anything else that looks really important right away here? I don't think so. Kind of cool. If you buy if you capture him, then you he can be a merchant sometimes. Why was he tapping you? I don't know. He wanted to know what I was up to. That That's apparently just his animation for for building. Which is pretty funny. At okay, bedtime. He was tapping me because he likes him thick. The milk looks like the milk in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, Zelda kind of in here. Oh, I can't make the hat at this stupid workbench. I bought that. Oh, you're gathering wood? Yeah, do that. Go gather more wood. Back to that. Put these. I'm going to make another fire. Cook more. Oh, I got to make the feed box. I need a lot of wood. God damn it. I really need a fucking pal that can mine wood. Oops. Yeah, the climbing is kind of Breath of the Wild EE too. It's kind of crazy how many things have climbing now and how we didn't really get, like, good climbing in Starfield. Like, that feels like the most obvious thing for a Fallout and Skyrim-like game from the company who made Fallout and Skyrim to be like, hey, we should put climbing in these games because people really like it. Put your feed box over here. Buy your little beds. Trying to build. Started cooking. There we go. Yeah, and the the game they made before this Craftopia looked even more like Breath of the Wild to the point where it's like, really, you guys aren't afraid? But it seems like they don't they don't they don't really get afraid of being in trouble. Yeah, it looks like those would kind of cook automatically. So just... I'll put some berries on there for those guys to go eat. Great available. You can get some more slaves going. Need a berry plantation and a work pal to the base. What does that mean? Oh, it just wants me to have the, the pal's numbers filled out. 
Okay, any of you do wood chopping? No, none of these guys do logging. We'll find somebody who can logging it. Okay, and then let's build a berry plantation. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life logging wood. My goddamn life logging wood. I should really build out those things that let them start farming wood and uh, stone for me. Go berry plantation over here. I can watch them from my window. Okay, you guys can keep building that. Move this rock. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of seeds too, so. Do that. Is that working? Yeah, it plants them as you put them in there. Okay. That's annoying. Maybe one of those guys will do that. Let's see. Do you do that? Do you want to do seeds? Yeah. Nope, can't be assigned. Nope, can't be assigned. Be assigned. Can be assigned. You do some farming, little buddy. Bud is asleep in your berry place. He is. There he goes. Wait, wait. We can put him in the bed. We can make this happen. Professional, high-quality stream. There we go. Oh. That will be a great use for AI features in OBS once we start getting more, like, just general AI toolkits built into stuff, to be like, hey, uh, can you just auto-track uh, any type of object that a cat would like to be on, and automatically place any cats on screen on those objects? <laughs> any, any, any different thing that's on screen with the name cat, or the word cat in the name, you can just move those to be on beds and stuff. That'll be really funny. I got not enough logs, as usual. I need these blue rocks, too. Bud takes a nap in the bed. Good. Good clip. That's gonna get featured. Oh, I'm starving. I'm starving to death. Good. And I'm almost dead. You can't die from starving, but you can sure be unhappy about it. Any of my pals starving? They're all fine. Yeah, for some reason I'm really good at ignoring little messages right in the center of the screen. I don't know why. That happens in Mario Maker a lot, too. I'm stupid. In that one specific spot. Oh, the gum guy's following me around. I need to catch another one of those guys to have farm for. Or he can just do it. I'll catch somebody else. What level am I? I'm level 8? It's probably worth exploring a little further now. We might be able to get some cooler pals. As uh, my health builds itself back up. But yeah, when you, uh, when you don't have people who are way into the base building, you're going to spend a lot of time just kind of building it up and taking the boxes off. And I don't have to keep doing it. It's just that... I can keep doing it, so then I do keep doing it. <laughs> it was pretty easy to get lost in, I guess. Yeah, you just be assigned on the bait. Good. Some good work. Upgrade. Al Gear Workbench and Statue of Power. 
cloth, wood and cloth. Of course, it's wood and cloth. And wood and stone for the logging and stone pits. Really need to get those going. Statue, statue we can build. Put the statue right by the lake here. So we can properly worship what is basically a Pokemon. See, what else am I going to do when I only have one hand? And before you say it, this isn't the hand I use for that. I was going to say, and this isn't the platform for that, but let's let's be real. Yes, it is. Yeah, here you can uh, enhance your capture rate um, with those green things that you find that are basically, they're more or less Karaks, they're just not well hidden like Karaks are. And then you can also use the souls of um, Sacrifice Pals to improve other pals once you start cutting pals apart. And you can find set, uh, souls all over the place, too. There's supposed to be some other way to get them out of pals. I don't know how to get the souls out yet, though. Cook some eggs. Oh, these aren't done cooking yet? Come on. Why are you guys so slow? Things here. Hut is in the fire. There we go. Hot kitties. Hot little kitty. He clearly likes it. <laughs> he just looks at me like, ooh. And get away from the fire case the yelling noise of yeah there see he's fine now he likes the fire honestly he's pretty dumb i haven't seen him around a fire yet and we do have a fireplace but it would not surprise me if he's the same kind of cat who would sniff the fire i did have one uh cat his name was craig and he looked like a dirty wizard at all the time he was adorable and disgusting um uh, I think I have a picture of him. I think I know right where a picture of him is. Let's see if I can find it really quick here. Um, and uh, he did once sniff a, a candle too close and burn a bunch of his whiskers and his face off. I watched him do it. Like, I watched him get closer. And I was like, what are you doing? And he just, he went in for it. It was too late. Like, there was nothing I could do. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess I don't have it in my desktop. There used to be an old desktop folder. I don't know where it went. Well, doesn't matter. But yeah, he was a really, really cute cat, and there was something really wrong with him, but, like, not so wrong that there was, like, a problem. And it wasn't like Pud, how Pud is kind of, like, a weird goofball and a little standoffish. Like, Greg figured out that if he turned his head, people would pet him, so he started turning his head more and more. Uh-oh, afraid. Heard of starving pals. Well... You need each other after. Where are they? Where are you guys? Oh, there they are. They're coming from up there. Okay. See if we can make some balls really, really, really fast. Before they get down here. Yeah, they're working their way down. Mario looks thick in this new update. Yeah, he's uh he's getting his buttons pushed. Yep. This is the future liberals want. Those. Yeah, Pokemon Gun is uh is really out doing Pokemon Sword and Shield for me. Uh. Right. Hello, hungry guys. Trap cone. Oh, don't be dead yet. There we go. Catch him. Is that it? Did we do all of them? Yeah, I think we did all of them. That's all of them. Good. Yeah, uh, 
Craig figured out that if you turn if he turned his head, you'd pet him, and he kept turning it more and more until he just started putting his head on the ground next to him, or falling over trying to put his head on the ground next to him. And that was about the smartest thing he ever did. And the only smart thing he ever did. Yeah, I don't know what the criteria is for me to be able to... Yeah, sometimes I can talk to him and buy from him still. That's really cool. I need to kidnap a merchant in our server that we've been playing on there. The stock doesn't change or refresh. But he does have a stock of a lot of basic stuff. That's pretty goddamn cool. Although, why is he charging me money if he's enslaved? Like, buddy, you work for me. I don't work for you. Grants have a wood stove. The cat's hid underneath it while it was lit. Oh my god. Even if I like knew it was not dangerous, I would still be really uncomfortable. Knowing cats were under there. But I also understand that they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to not be under there. It's not slavery. It's indentured servitude. What are we? We'll, you know, manumit. Seven years. What, isn't that the rule? Seven years? Slaves go free? But maybe there is no religion here other than worshipping that statue. Lamb is dancing on the bed. Was it? Oh, well, it stopped. It stopped before I noticed. It was. They had lamb. They apparently put some of their own berries in there. Well, here, I'm giving you lamb and chicken and eggs. Yeah, at least one of them has already started taking care of some of the stuff. Um, It looks like one of them was farming. Dealing with this. I have to water it. And putting the berries in the uh, in the other area. Probably don't have anybody who can water it yet. Where the hell did they get all those berries? Are they just harvesting them from the field over there? Maybe they were. Make it easier to see Zoom Cam. Not the cat cam? You just want to see me? That's fine, we got that. We got that all day. Not that one. Gotta fix that one. Then we got this one. Boom. Chose the wrong zoom cam, didn't you? You wanted cats. But instead, you got vapor. Blocking your view of the prettiest fem man there ever was. That man doesn't sound right. See, there it is. I had a plan. I had a plan. Wait, wait. Do they? Which way do they stack? I think the cat stacks on top. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> is this what you wanted? Now, I guess they grow. Now they grow. The plan was to confuse everyone. <laughs> this is the stream now. Well, for a minute. What the hell are you guys doing over here? What in the fuck are you guys doing? I haven't seen pathing errors like this online at all. They're just all being weird. Oh, weird. I don't have these options at all on the server either. Or at least I was unaware that I did. No, we get the F, the, the 4 F option, not the 4 option. Oh, okay. Weirdo. Did you guys accidentally leave the barrier and then your pathing broke? I think that's what happened. You guys are dumb. No, I was trying to pick you up, idiot. I'm not trying to buy from you. Weird. Okay, well, you'll make it back. Or you won't. That cam is so liquidy when he does. Yeah, he's he's wiggling. There he goes. <laughs> Yeah, I messed with it a little bit. It's pretty funny now. Okay, you guys need to stop being stuck right there. What if I uh, return to title and go back? Okay. Lost some frames there for a minute. But yeah, then they just spawn by the box and they're fine. That's pretty weird. 
Uh, another sheep, I guess. And I'm going to put one of these guys in my party. He's got Vanguard. It is ooh, increased player attack. If you replace one of the lambs here. Hot lamb. What is heated body? Decreased ice damage. Not useful. And then these extra ones we can sell later when we find a pal trader. Uh, otherwise, you can mix them together. You can kind of grind them up and stir them into each other. <laughs> I need wood. This is like Pokemon meets Fortnite. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people are comparing it to Fortnite. It looks a lot like Fortnite in that it kind of looks like stock Unity assets. That's stock Unity. Uh, stock Unreal assets. I do wish they had stylized the world a little bit more. And maybe that could still be in the pipeline. Like, maybe these are their generic or literally asset store assets. Um, doot, 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 doot. I would be really, really happy if they ended up doing something a lot more stylized. Even if it wasn't, like, uh, full, like, Breath of the Wild cell shading style thing. Just something more interesting. More visually interesting than this. I actually really like the low poly look that Rust went for. I think Rust or Rust, uh, Valheim was a really beautiful game, uh, specifically because of that. <laughs> but just having somebody make some better assets could make things look a lot nicer, more interesting biomes, lusher, crappy plains land. Spicier lava area. A lot of it just feels really generic. What I need? I need the PAL gear workbench as well. Do, 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 do. I need cloth. Make that. Do cloth. Start production. Oh, I should make the shield too. Yeah, the shield is just a basic recharging shield. To get ready for bed, I gotta get ready for bed. Go. Kind of want to play this in bed, but I've still been playing ROM hacks in bed because I feel like I'll get super lost in it. Make one of these. I should have clothes on me. Make more cloth, and then I'll make the other thing. It's a little while before you actually get the guns. But pretty early on, you can turn some of the Pokemon into guns, too. Do I have a guy out? Here, you help. Guy, you didn't have to walk away. You can help, too. Uh, I misread that as throwing up on my phone at first, and now I keep thinking about it, and, uh, I've never thrown up on my phone, but I imagine that happens, and I also imagine that people who have, uh, thrown up on their phone end up just wiping it off and keep using it, despite the fact there's for sure throw up in their phone. All over it. Doot, 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 doot. Well, Crackers is on screen a little bit, too. But also just slightly off screen. I may no, I need to make. Now I should be able to do the other thing. Nope. Give me the cloth. Yeah. The fact that you have to pick stuff up after it's done, I guess, kind of makes sense, but also annoys me. <laughs> Okay, I finished all mage. And jump. I gotta update that. Chat modules. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna pull it up to do later. Oh, I can't make anything at the workbench yet? Wow. Okay, 
Upgrade. Crusher, stone pit, logging site. That's next. Go to bed. So far, all my cat cats, all my pals are healthy. Nobody's depressed yet. Seems like that definitely works better, but I've also been around the area the whole time. Eight. Crusher, we need that. We have the other two ready to make. Don't care about the rest of that right now. We have what we need. I need a lot of wood for both of these. A lot of stones. Get some wood. What am I on fire? Weird. Oh, I'm hungry. I really miss eating automatically. Yeah, you can catch pals that are higher level than you, and then it just down-levels them to your level until you level up or catch up to them. Oops. Deleted all my stamina. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really surprised at how much of the base maintenance stuff is literally just it takes care of itself. I assumed um, one of the guys I was playing with was doing work all the time at the base, but it, it's not really necessary. Like, you can always help the work, help do the work that's being done, but it's not really ever necessary. Get some stones while I'm at it. build some stuff and get rid of some of that weight right now. You can kind of overlap that with the edge there. That seems unwise. I don't know why I can do that, but I feel like if I can, I probably shouldn't. I'm not gonna. I feel like I'm gonna wind up with pals off the edge of the earth. If I... A logging site. Oh, I need more palladium again. Yeah, you guys build that. I'm gonna go get some palladium. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't had any need for it at all yet, but there is a dodge roll, as well as a slide. Oops. Uh, the slide going down hills is pretty hilarious. I'm going to go do that right now. There's no Palladium mode. Time to go find a friggin' dungeon. <laughs> Sports. I like him. He needs to level up. Baseball bat. Oops, I killed him. Don't care about you anymore. Slide. Yeah, slide down hills is amazing. And uh, then if you slide into the parasail, uh, you go really, really, really fast, which is pretty fun. Oops, I used up all my stamina. Stop running away from me. Come on. I need one more lamb. Oh, yeah, he hit it right at the end, but then I captured it. Yeah, that's the last lamb. 
remember how many chickens I need. I'm gonna tell him not to attack because I don't want him to kill stuff. Chicken. Chicken. There we go. Looks like that's the end of the chickens, too. Go. Yeah, that's all ten. Oh, we got some Piplook looking guys over here. That's right. Oh, we got some deer down there too. Good. Over there too. Deer might be low enough level, might not. I'm really surprised that, like, the server frame rate still appears to be a little slow, even on a single-player game. What level is he? Oh, he's level 11. I'm in, I'm in some trouble. Aggressive attack. Uh, he died. I'm in trouble. Really wish I had a ranged weapon. A couple of nicer balls I could try. I'm trying to kill my kitty cat. Get in the ball and be a deer. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. I tried to chuck the ball before he hit me, but he got me. I probably should have dodged backwards and then chucked it. He might still be low health when I get back over there. You can respawn in tons of different places, and you can respawn back at your base, too. Pretty close there. Yeah, I'm pretty dead. I The server's configurable. Server or single player's configurable for what you drop on death, and I just set it to not drop equipment, because that seems annoying. That is annoying. Died. I did. I did do a die. Look at me, I'm Link. I got a paraglider. I don't take fall damage as long as I push the button. Yeah, your pal stay dead after you die. That's a thing. Take all that deer go. Oh, I'm running around. Oh yeah, he's starting to fight with some foxes down here. I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to let the foxes fight him. Maybe they'll chip him down for me. <laughs> he seems to be doing a pretty good job. Whoa. Buddy, you didn't need to come and hit me. You're fighting foxes, remember? Killed all the foxes. My turn. Boy, he is just... He's taken off. He does not want to play. I had a pretty good shot of catching him, but he's not into it. Let's go catch a fox, then. Wow. The cat I threw out just started mining. What are you fucking doing? Oh, that's a dead fox. I'm gonna grab the leather and the organs. Oh yeah, I probably want some fire guys running around the base too so they can do some of the cooking. Melting pretty soon. I don't know where the hell you think you're running to. Yeah, something like this too really does show like how ooh, am I uh oh I'm out of green balls, which I just wasted on that guy. How good an actual open world Pokemon game 
Sports that did more of um what Legend was doing, but went even harder with it could actually be. A little ledge down there. I wonder if there's something down there. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Hey, there's an egg down here. And a treasure chest. Cool. And if we go down there, we're going to be really goddamn sad. That is just the ocean. We don't have anything to ride down there yet. I really hope I can get back up from here. It's going to suck really bad if I can't. Yeah, it looks like we should get to the first boss. This will actually make a make a pretty good, uh, pretty good little intro for it. Stick it on YouTube as... First three hours of Power World played by an idiot. Uh oh. Uh, thought I was just gonna fail to grab the wall and be in a lot of trouble there. Your gear does go back on land, like where you died, rather than going in the water or something stupid like that, but it still would have been. There's an egg down there. And now we're gonna go down. To We can get this wet, wet ass egg. I need more of this to make more balls. When you, <laughs> when you butcher the uh, humans, uh, you just get two balls from them, <laughs> which is really funny. Look, it's your friend. Oops, your friend killed you. Oops, broke out. There we go. Make it easier to see cat cam. We can make that happen. Boom. There we are. If only they would wiggle, but they are both really passed out. <laughs> Another egg over here. There are a lot of eggs on the shore over here. Fast travel point, which makes extremely Zelda y noises when you touch it. Yeah, it does seem like this is. They're going pretty hard on the Breath of the Wild sound effects. my last ball. I hope he goes in there. Oh, that's my friggin' Remus. Remus and Butterhead? No, that's Over here and see what this guy has to say. Oh, yeah, there's some more blue, uh, blue rocks over there we can go smack. You get more EXP if you capture lots of them. Yeah, he gave me some more Palladium as well. Another journal. Max some rocks. Oh, God, there's more eggs over here, too. Eggy in this first area. Oh, I moved and they both looked. Wild Pud, that was a stretch. Yeah. while before we can build egg incubators. So we're going to collect a lot of eggs. Wow. 
That guy's still leveled up even though he's dead. I guess that's convenient. I should really go revive him, though. There, there aren't really recovery items. It seems like they don't really want you to recover that way. It's just passive healing from eating, which I should do. Um. And otherwise... Oh, that's a big ant. Why is there a big ant in my house, right? Put him under a cup. Uh, oh, man, all my tools are breaking. I'm not going to mine like that. Back here. Um, lost my train of thought. Cats are cute. Oh, yeah, healing. Um, that they kind of want you to rotate a lot, rotate stuff out a lot. Um, And have a surplus of pals rather than a small team that you are addicted to and unable to let go. So now he can recover. It takes 10 minutes for their lives to, life to come back. One of these at the... They can do hot stuff. One of these wet guys. So they can do wet stuff. Oh, and he's a workaholic. Good. He's going to like it. That helps log, but he can't log himself. It's a pretty bad team. Get rid of that chicken. Get rid of that lamb. Okay. Oh, we need more beds. Bed for these guys. Draw a pal bed. A couple extra going. And then can I build that other infrastructural thing that I needed? A logging site? Yes, I can. In overlaps with our object. There we go. Oh, and wasn't there one more? Oh, crusher! I need to make, which I need more goddamn wood for. God, I hope one of those guys can run the friggin' wood wooder. Off to sleep. Hey, thanks for popping in, Box. We'll be back with Mario Maker tomorrow having more fun. Hey, here's a fun thing, too. I downloaded all the GDQ levels, so I want to play through those, too. So that'll be a terrible stream to watch <laughs> if you were there watching them at GDQ. Yeah, have a good night, bud. But yeah, some of them looked really fun. I really hope I can do one frame boomerang stuff uh, by myself. Otherwise, I might make Heidi come over here and have to do it with me. Some of that stuff is so friggin' cool. I just want to mess with it and see what I can see. Alright, you guys are building your thing. Put a little crusher over here. Kind of fill it up here. I have no idea what this thing does. I know we have one at the other base, too. I have never interacted with it. So it's it's really interesting to play this single player. <laughs> Maybe if I start getting too far ahead of everybody else, I'll come back to single player and just learn more. Because there's clearly a lot of information I was missing. Because, like, the number one thing we needed was somebody to go and get metal. Someone to go and get... <laughs> explore. Someone to get weird resources from fighting stuff all the time. Aw. Uh, oh, I just kind of stuck to doing that. Okay, this thing can turn stones into palladium and wood into fiber. That's fucking cool. That is fucking cool. Oh, that's... We were missing uh, about 1,500 stone uh, this morning when I signed in and was like, oh, okay, that's, that's great. Uh, I figured somebody built, like, a big stone house or something really stupid like that. Nope, I think they just ground stone up to make... Lydium. Because you need it to make Pokeballs. Oh, I need to fix this friggin' thing. Okay, well, we should be ready for upgrade now. Fun, I will. 
I have been, yeah. Uh, I am playing it basically every uh, waking moment that I can find. Um, and there is uh, nothing more fun than those games that you get absolutely trapped in and cannot get away from. Build a hot spring, furnace, and plantation. Another plantation. Make that happen. Too. Get another pal cooking over here. Oh, uh, you. Go and do labor. You are bad at labor. I need rocks. I need rocks. Anybody foundationing? Mining? Nobody. Oh, I can mine. Although this seems way slower than uh, literally any other way to get stones. Yeah, this is terrible. Let's cook some stuff over there. Really need a couple more rocks here. I don't remember how many I needed, but probably more than I have. Hopefully that's enough. It is. Oh, and the axe is broken too, and I need wood for that. God damn it. You got sticks for me. Two sticks to fix the axe. Yeah, the stock tools. The initial tools break really fast. We fix it? Oh, are you not listening to buttons? There we go. Cloth is going to need fixing. Armor. Let's make a cloth quick. Rather fix it now than have it break later. Putt is just passed out. He looks really cute. I like how they just get tired and passed out up there. As long as they get a treat. Some eggs in here. Oh, I need more chests in here. Which I can't afford because I need more wood and stone. Okay. We will get there. Dairy seeds, fiber, stuff I don't need. Leather. Leather we're going to need. Can I make the friggin' bow? Uh, I could if I had more. Don't and, don't and wood. Okay, I need to do more home stuff. More, more mining stuff. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the next thing is the uh, the first boss. So actually, maybe it's worth exploring my way towards the first boss. I'll probably pick some stuff up on the way, and then we'll see what we get on the way back. But I should do this first, because I should make Pokeballs before I make my way towards the first tower. Fight the first gym badge person. I'm kidding. It's just some lady in a tower. I don't know exactly what the lore is behind it. But it can't really be much worse than Pokemon. I'm still a little dead from the fact that they were like, okay, okay, so instead of Team Rocket or Team Galaxy or some bad guys, what we're going to do in this game, right, is we're going to have a bunch of hooligans who are like a really big fan of just one gym leader who are just going to be like the anti-McGuffin and they're going to be in the way and they're going to be constant plot armor dickheads because they really just like that gym leader and they don't want you to get strong enough to, I guess, beat her? 
which they stop by trying to fight you, and then you get stronger, and it's just like, what are you guys doing? You guys are supposed to be, like, hardcore punk rockers. Get out a knife and stab the kid. If the 13-year-old kid gets stabbed in the liver, his parents are not going to let him go and do Pokemon battles anymore. But that, does, that same logic does also apply to Team Rocket. If Jesse or James had ever just whipped out a handgun and been like, Hey, give us all your Pokeballs or we're going to shoot you in the gut. And then piss on you. And then take all your Pokeballs while you writhe in pain. Cool. Problem solved. No more, no more Pikachu. Ash goes home. Professor Oak is unable to fuck his mom and is angry forever. That is definitely, for sure, the entire lore of Pokemon. Professor Oak tells Ash to catch every Pokemon on Earth so he has time to deduce. To seduce the mom. Weighed down, but I'm just gonna walk my way back here. The lamb is grabbing stones. That's a good thing. Merchant is doing goddamn nothing. I made a shield, right? Yeah, I made a shield. Next is bow. Oh, and then making lots and lots of Pokeball. Then we'll scoot towards the first boss. Hey, Janine, how you doing? Yeah, I saw you at uh, GDQ. Doing the uh, doing the thing with uh, Marble and uh, Carl. That was really cool. I downloaded all the levels, too, because they look really cool, and I want to touch them. Oh, wait, that's going to use too much. Let's, use, let's do the spheres first. Uh, if you haven't gotten sucked into Pal World yet, it's, it's amazing. That is pretty much all the stone. It's been it's been so good. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, there wasn't a ton I wanted to see at GDQ this year, so it was really cool to see that Carl was there. Uh, I saw Jank Pickle was running uh, Mario Wonder as well too. Um, and that that's basically it. that's all I caught anyway that I cared about. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but I'm glad GDQ was still holding it together. Yeah. Yeah, he he PB'd on his on his wonder run. <laughs> that's fucking that's fucking great. Oh, I didn't yeah, I didn't see the 60 Mar Super Mario 64 thing. I I'll catch that on YouTube. In general, it, GDQ is one of the few things where it is actually decent to watch live because it's the same thing as you're going to see cut down on YouTube anyway. But I I'll, I'll probably watch that on YouTube. I will for sure watch the dog on YouTube too. I just missed the dog. Yeah, that's uh, that's the closest connection I've ever had to speedrunning because I cannot watch. I like Mitch. Uh, generally, I like Mitch a lot. Uh, I can't watch him restart Mario three six hundred times. I don't know how anyone can shoot the shit and watch somebody play the beginning of Mario three a thousand times. Oops, what am I doing? But yeah, the dog, the dog will be on YouTube doing dog stuff, and it's gonna be great. I wonder if the dog PB. <laughs> oh, there's a peanut butter joke there. I hope they I hope they did that. That had to have been a thing. Just over and over. I hope it's a dog that likes peanut butter. Okay, uh, I think that's uh that's good. Let's make some arrows. I'm gonna go over there. I hope the dog PB'd and then got peanut butter right after. I'm hungry? Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I am making food. Yeah, especially with Mario Maker starting to peter off a little bit. You know, the niches will stick around. We got troll levels. The shell people have shells. Uh, 
I'm assuming the music people are still active because I feel like I see them often enough that they have to still be surviving out there. But in general, it seems like the greater like Mario Maker community is more or less down, fallen down a little bit besides the couple of um, streamers who are still running it pretty hard. So it was really nice that GDQ still cared and still wanted to run Mario Maker to just show a bunch of cool shit that, that Psycho and uh, some of those crazy folks on Twitter have been getting up to. I'm really excited to play with the uh, every frame boomerang. I'm really hoping I can just do that by switching hands on a pair of controllers. Because the, the 3D World jank stuff looked amazing. I'm talking about submitting a blind troll race, that would be really fun. That would be so much fun. Oh, you can? Excellent. It didn't look too hard, but I didn't know if there was anything crazy going on there. I guess, yeah, you were player two, you'd know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was, I, I was faintly kicking around the idea, because I had a, a good amount of fun running Wonder, uh, and I had an okay time really early on. Not competitive, but uh, it, it was okay. I could have grounded out and had fun with it. I was having fun grinding it, but uh, things started to get crazy with Wonder. I don't think there's anything wrong with the, the two-player stuff that people are doing. I don't think it's unethical or wrong. It's just it's less interesting to me when you start getting stuff like that in there. Um... Yeah, pretty much just get in position and get grabbed. Um, but uh, one of the things I've always personally enjoyed speedrunning is uh, Mario 3. Um, I've always loved running Mario 3. Uh, I used to have a decent time in Mario 3, but between the hands, you're 12.5% on the hands, and then the 50-50 on the wall kick, I can't get the wall kick consistent in Bowser's Castle. I hate the wall kick in Bowser's Castle. In general, that just ruins it. Like, the 12.5%, that's not the end of the world, even though it's after, like, eight goddamn minutes of auto-scroller. Oh, is it not nighttime yet? I'll give it a minute before I go to bed. Here. Uh, you got, like, eight minutes of auto-scroller and nonsense before you make your way out to, uh... Here's the first town. Right over there. Okay. Um, before you make your way to a bunch of really tough stages before Bowser's Castle, and just it's it's a mess. Um, Mario Three Advance does not do any of that. Does not bother with the fucking uh, wall kick. It has a totally different route through Bowser's Castle because it just works differently. So I've been thinking real hard about maybe starting to do some uh, Mario Three Advance runs. Because that would kind of let me just do it the way I used to do it. equipped. Is it really? No? Oh, it's not lagging too much. I have no idea how much trouble it is to get GDQ runs actually submitted, but I feel like that's that's a place to start. Oh, uh, hello. Little fox. Oh, you're my fox. What are you doing this far outside of the area? Killed it. Yeah. I'm done with the lambs. The, yeah, I'm done with those. Lied. Stop with these guys. I do really hope, though, especially when you see events like that, it really makes me hope, like, man, I really hope we get a Mario Maker 3, like, while there's still enough of the same people running around, because that'll be really fun. Of course, there'll be lots and lots of new people that, that start popping in, but I really hope we get it before, you know, the community overall moves on. Over segregates. If you wait too long, then you get something like Melee, maybe, where people are like, well, no, I like old game. Not new game. Penguin. Yeah. Oh, he died. God damn it. Fox, you killed him. But yeah, I've been uh, pretty much no life in this all weekend. Um, 
with a group, so I wanted to see if the single player game ends up playing a little less laggy uh, and working better overall. Uh, and so far, it seems like, yeah, that it keeps up a lot better. I think my server's just struggling a little bit for hosting. Um, but I was also really curious what, like, the automation looks like and the base setup looks like, because I basically just ignore all that because everybody else is doing it. But this game has been just an absolute ton of fun. Even, like, starting over from scratch and playing it again from the top is an, uh, just a riot. Like, it is just an unbelievably fun game. really makes me wish the uh the pokemon people would actually try like try as hard as they possibly can to be better at it maybe this will motivate them too people have been so grumpy about it and so like tribalist about it but like i feel like there's a there's a world in which this just improves pokemon games maybe not though i also kind of feel like after pokemon go they realize they don't have to try that hard and they will still sell like crazy It does kind of blow me away that they transitioned to 3D and there was so much, like, criticism for it. And it all seemed kind of stupid, but... Then they tried to pull the thing where they were like, well, it's too complicated to have... To have too many different, uh... To have too many different models in 3D, blah, blah. So we're not bringing back every Pokemon every generation. Uh... And then the, the graphics just seemed to get worse and worse. Like, there were so many glitches in Sword and Shield. And then so many glitches in uh just graphical issues in um uh this, this one was closer than i remembered in um scarlet and violet and it's just how are you guys like this like you didn't need to make it 3d it never needed to be a 3d game it could have stayed 2d I would have loved to see 2D RPGs on the uh, on the Switch, but it never really did anything different than they were as handheld RPGs, and they never got... They just kind of got worse. Hello, Penguin. He's gonna die. Hopefully we'll catch him before he dies. Let's free this guy. Oh, nope, they're on me. They're on me with their guns. Tell that guy to attack aggressively. Change him out, because he's dying. Can we catch one of these guys? Nope, not yet. Yeah, you can capture humans, which is kind of the greatest thing. They make good Pokemon, uh, but they sell really good to the uh, Slave Trader. 15%. We might be able to catch this guy. I only have 15 balls, so I don't want to really waste a bunch on this dick. You going? Yeah, he's going. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Let this little flower lady out of here. Yeah, when you release captured Pokemon, you just get them right away, which is really cool. It's just a kind of a, a neat way to do a random free reward in these little uh, open dungeon area things. He's going to be too high level to catch, right? Level 11 Nightwing. I'm level 10. We might be able to get him. Okay. Not a ton of damage, even with the ball. Oh, Les Punk is highly good. Okay, so well, that's good. Doing a good amount of damage. Ow. Oh, you killed him, bud. Come on. You attacked him twice at the same time! You did the dick move! Ugh. Dick move, guy.
Okay, well, let's teleport back. Uh, and recover these guys a little bit, and then, uh... We can come and try the boss out, and then I'll just stick around for the rest of it. And that'll take care of the whole like tutorial first bit there. That'll be fun. Yeah, I definitely feel like just in the three hours that I played, this served the purpose I wanted it to. Was um, it gave me an opportunity to talk a little bit about it uh, and my thoughts on it, which was fun and helped me process. Uh, and it gave me why did I build this here? What's wrong with me? Uh, it gave me the opportunity to um, take a look at the beginning of the game on my own without other people uh, involved nice as well. well. Let's swap out. I miss... Hey, you're born. That's normal type anyway. Get a lot of grass, but that should be okay. Oh, and let's grab the little ice pink. And then maybe we'll grind just a little bit to level them up. Um, that guy is too high a level to fuck with. We're gonna leave him alone. Has anyone dug up any rocks? Nope, nobody can dig, nobody can wood. God damn it. Well, soon we'll get somebody who can do those things. Esports. I got some wheat seeds. I got some bullets. I don't need those for a while yet, but I'll take them. We have enough wood to build another friggin' chest because I'm getting a little more of that. No, we don't have enough stones. Stones right there. going here. Yeah, the slide uphill, not fast. Not fast, not useful. If you're downhill, it can be pretty useful. You can get a lot of speed out of it. Box. We want to build more box. There's a clear front and back on these, and I don't remember which is which. I wish they were labeled. Get over here and help. Oh, that's more storage. They should go quick stack. I should organize these, but I don't really have to care so much. Quick stack. Back. Oh, nope. I don't know why there were balls in there, but I don't want that. All the other things I can't stack in. The rest of that I want to keep. Yeah, the rest of that I want to keep. Okay. Anything else cool we can make? In the levels here. Oh, we can make a better cloth outfit. But I don't know if they're actually stronger. Oh, we can make the three-shot bow. That one's pretty nice. We're gonna make that. Oh, and the hairband. We should make the hairband, too. It's a little tiny bit of additional... or additional, uh... defense, which goes a long way. Set that up. I'll go get the stuff I need for the other one. Lamb ball produced one feathered hair band. Thanks, lamb ball. Go up here and get some rocks.
Oh, the cat was mining, so maybe I just need to assign a cat to the base, too. Cat will do some mining. This is survival game. This is what people do. Survive. Contrast is all fucked up in the top left hand. Well, I didn't notice that earlier. Okay, though. Okay. Whipped. Three shot bow. Take that. Yeah, get out of bed. Help me make this bow. <laughs> wow, that little sap guy looks really dumb. <laughs> yeah, one thing that seems to be missing, I would say, is um, there are PvP flags. So they're, they're planning to have PvP um, in the game. Uh, there's PvP flags for the servers, so you can set PvP in, like, friendly fire or PvP in guilds, outside of guilds, that kind of stuff. But I would really like to see, uh, only pal versus pal combat, so, like, you could essentially simulate a Pokemon battle, either by having them fight or even with, um, uh, you actually selecting which commands to use in an alternating fashion like that. Heard of man-eating pals. A new one. Hold on. Where are they coming from? Oh, it's uh oh oh it's more high level. And when you're getting raided, all the pals on the base help too, which is really nice. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Some of those shots set off one of the high-level guys. Um. Is he going to be able to get over here? He's aggroed, so... I have to just deal with it. Oh, I am. Oh, I see a shiny guy over there. Yeah. really want to know what that is. Maybe he'll just stay stuck. A shiny owl over there. I see you have a laser. What are you doing? Don't laser at me. see at night. But I would like the shiny owl. Oh, I wanted to get him with it with an uh. Maybe just froze him. Maybe we'll freeze him again. Not doing much damage for him. Green ball. Dinosaur over there is really struggling. Oh, do we got him? Yeah, we got him. Awesome. That's great. Shinies aren't crazy rare, but I've only seen like three, four total now. Uh, in 30 hours, 40 hours. Okay, he's aggroed, but he doesn't seem to be able to attack. So, should I fight him? I feel like I really should. Oh, he despawned. Okay. Well, let's go to bed and let's do the boss. Fun. Let's get the let's get the level eleven guy and go. Yeah, we got shiny, shiny, shiny owl. Is he dark also. He is dark also. 
I don't think we have to worry too much about stacking types up right now. The wolf is normal. You can ride the wolf, though, which is cool. Riders go a little faster, but so far none of the animals go crazy fast that I've seen. But... <laughs> Esports. <laughs> Esports. Swimming animals and flying animals are exceptionally useful. Now, flying animals can fly... Ah. Uh, first boss. Flying animals can also fly over the water, so a flying animal can work in a pinch if you need a bunch of other ones for combat. They recover when they're not out, as long as they're reasonably well-fed also. So the game kind of rewards you for rotating while you're fighting, so it gets a little micromanaging, but it's fun. Oh good, I can make metal equipment now. And can I make the furnace? Yeah, I can make the furnace. We'll be able to get started on the important stuff pretty quick here, too. Then I can make the pelt armor and the meat cleaver. Oh, and the crossbow and the metal spear. For the metal spear, we don't get good... Uh, we don't get more melee weapons for a really, really long time. We get muskets, we get a stun baton, but that's just for stunning and really low damage. Handgun... Better handgun. Grenades. Assembly lines. Better spear at like 34. So a long, long time before we see that. And then we can start getting rifles and fancy, fancy weapons. Shotguns. Mounted machine gun. Street lamps. Pump action shotgun. And then eventually a sword. And that ends up being most of the end of like what we get for melee weapons. Which is too bad. Alright, let's take on uh, first boss battle here. I expected this would be a pretty slow stream. I wasn't dead. It was fun. Yeah, we're pretty much going for the same exact goddamn thing that they did for the... Uh, Stupid punk rock lady boss, except, um, actual voice. I don't know if you heard that, but she had a voice there. Unlike the stupid punk rock lady who was literally printing out lyrics in a text box. It was the worst thing they did in the Pokemon in that whole game. That just, that really solidified everything for me. I was like, what are you doing? I should get out of here. Really? 30,000 HP? That seems a little crazy for the first boss. I thought that I was supposed to take him on around this level. Now I'm feeling like that might be too much. I guess we'll find out. Maybe I should have made a saddle first. Pretty sure I can't do this, right? No. Zero percent. Immune to spheres is the... At least this does tip a decent bit of damage off. I am almost out of arrows. Decent bit of damage won't actually hit. All three. Oops, danger. it for arrows. Baseball bad time. Oh, we're in trouble. Yeah, this is gonna work. Oh, and my armor broke. Great. 
you're gonna die here. If I brought a lot of arrows, I think it would be okay. But I think you're supposed to be just a little higher level before you take on this boss. I do wish they would tell you what their intended level is for each boss fight. They do not seem to do that. No. I don't think I can leave, can I? I guess it won't hurt to find out. Of course, it's gonna happen. I die different? Oh, no. Back here. Oh, I don't know why I'm even bothering. You don't, you don't need to be out. At least get in there and baseball bat the D on the way down. Now we know. That, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I knew what uh, what level they wanted me to be for the first fight. Doesn't tell you at any of the towers what level they expect, so you're just kind of winging it. 30,000 really surprised me, because I know the next boss is like 90,000, but even like the world bosses are only a couple thousand. That looks like his inventory never shuffles. Back over there and grab our equipment. Hoping my equipment is deposited outside. The rest of the stuff that didn't stay on me. Really cute. Yeah, deposits outside. Take all. Oh, there's a little dungeon right next to here, too. Levels of dungeon. Probably ready for that. Yeah, 13. We're 11. We should be okay. At least up until the boss. That'll be a fun thing to take a look at. Well, to kind of book the, bookend things off. But I gotta go fix my armor and swap out some of my dead pals. Dead. Choices. Fix the armor. Both armors are broken. We need I need cloth for the one. Oh, they got broken so bad. enough wood to fix those, but I, well, I might need them. There's palladium in there, but we, we don't need to focus on it right now, so. Let's go take a little peek at a dungeon here. Yeah, there's dungeons all over the place. There's world bosses uh, all over the world, too. We only have one on our map now. One of those really, really big mammoth guys is running around over here. Who's a world boss who just isn't aggro? A lot of the other ones are, but not all of them. Yeah. Well, that's the basic gameplay loop. Catch stuff, get experience, level up, catch more stuff, get more experience, level up, build new stuff, make them work on stuff for you. Good time. I like the baseball bat. It's too bad that the uh they don't continue making metal baseball bats as you're coming up. A lot of enemies seem to get stun locked by. Them. 
There's a new demands. down here okay I guess get stuck that's fine keep throwing pokeballs at you Fucked up in the air like an asshole there we go yeah you can command your pals not to attack um but a lot of times it's easier to just pull them back Kitty cat. Dogs. That should get him, right? Yeah, there we go. There is a Pokedex. Uh, get him and here. Um, called the PAL deck that gives you information about each of the uh, PALs that you encounter and that you capture. But, you know, they're, they're pretty much going for a lot of what you see. You can get habitat information on stuff you saw um, and where they're going to be during the day and at night and that kind of thing. Habitat unknown, because that one lives in a cave. The uh, caves are randomly assembled, it seems like, but they're randomly assembled from a number, a pretty limited number of total, like, rooms or props, basically. So, um, the caves end up feeling really samey and really confusing, which, I don't know, isn't great. I'm hoping that they improve the caves later on. That said, it is still nice to have a separate underground area to dick around that has different enemies and has bosses. The bosses um, are differentiated from shinies by a boss indicator, uh, but are also very large, but I don't think they're as large as a shiny. Shinies are enormous. I should have captured him. Yes! But yeah, it does seem like the responsiveness is starting to peter off. And we've only been playing for like three hours. Uh, and I restarted once. Oop, thanks for murdering him, buddy. So, it does seem like there are definitely some optimization issues that even carry on to, uh, single player. Bring him back before he kills all these. Fuddler's real useful, because Fuddler can actually mine in the base. We're still looking for somebody who can log them. But yeah, since the my these areas are so confusing, my general progression is hug the right wall, treat it like a labyrinth. Huggish, you know, you know the drill. Oh, we got a little bit of a clip through the wall there, and we can see some more of uh over there. I always get a kick out of that. Yeah, if you're going to build a really samey cave... Oh, okay, this is the boss room. If you're going to build a really samey cave out like this, um, give me a... Uh, give me something like what Elderbring did, where there's trap rooms, puzzle rooms, that kind of thing, and that they still feel bespoke, hand-built. Oh, shit, I never brought more arrow. That was a mistake. I have a water guy? I do. Get her wet, bud. Next. Uh. 
some of these crappier ones off. So they're not piling on damage. Oh, he died. Died. Oh, he started on fire. Like me. I kind of want to stay out of it for now. Let him do his job. Yeah, I'm doing way less damage than him. I should stay alive! Throw balls at it when I'm ready. There we go, boss defeated! Yeah, you get some special drops from bosses down here. Uh, ancient civilization parts let you build um, more interesting, more important gear. Uh, and let you build some pretty cool stuff. In addition to that, at the end of the caves, you get a couple of treasure chests that have all manner of different drops, including um, uncommon, rare, epic, that kind of thing, like blueprints for better gear. Uh... Skill fruits that let you teach different skills to your pals, and they're not limited to their type either, uh, which is nice. Um, so like this electric move, we could teach to uh, ground guy, probably, but we can teach to everybody. We can teach this one. Um, and they do have assignable skills in here, too, but they're none of them are high enough level to have multiple skills beyond that. But yeah, uh, there's more in the dungeons, too. There's no map, which is unfortunate. Uh, the dungeon is just the dungeon. But um, there's uh, also treasure, other treasure, locked treasure in the dungeon sometimes as well. Uh, as well as a an assortment of different types of um, pals down there too. But yeah, it's really fun stuff. Um, I can't stress enough how, uh, how much fun I've had with this game overall. Um, and how much it reminds me of the early days of Valheim. And it's not polished in the same way, but it still feels like there's a lot more here. What has been uh, an incredibly fun game to get lost in. Um, and uh, I, I can definitely seem a little bit like a contrarian sometimes, right? But um, I mean, sometimes I like to play Devil's Advocate for sure. But in general, I would be happier if everyone liked the music I liked. I would be much happier. I'm really happy when somebody's like, dude, uh, they were playing Spoon on the radio. Or like when somebody told me they're like, dude, they were playing At the Drive-In on this like regular radio station like that's awesome that's super awesome I, I guess you don't hear about it that much anymore but it's awesome when that kind of stuff does happen um and it's really awesome that something like this is big and good and legitimately good unlike only up and some of the other big things it's nice to be part of the uh zeitgeist for once zeitgeist i forget how to fucking say that One of those words you read and you never hear but it's nice to be a part of the wave um and to be enjoying it and to not be critical or be to not feel like I can see what's actually happening and like be having fun. I like that. I like that a lot. Um Yeah. So I'm excited to keep playing this, but we'll return to Mario Maker as usual tomorrow, following going forward. Um I just really wanted an opportunity to play this and maybe talk to some Pokemon regulars, but nobody had any hot takes, so that was uh that's how we wrap that up. I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a good night and uh see you tomorrow.